As we start with trigonometry, or trig, let's sort out some of the terminology. Here's a right triangle. We'll double check. 90 degrees in this corner here. Yep, we know it's definitely a right triangle. Now, remember that all triangles have internal angles that add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, if we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle here must be 90 minus 30 gives us 60 degrees. So, the 90 degree in a right triangle will always be our largest angle. The other two angles each have to be smaller, as together they add up to the other 90 degrees. Let's switch and talk about sides now. So, which is the longest side on this triangle? Well, if this is the biggest angle here, then the biggest side must be across from it. The longest side is always across from the biggest angle, or the 90 degree angle here. We give the biggest side of a right triangle a name. We call it the hypotenuse, a Greek term. The hypotenuse is always the longest side in a right triangle. The hypotenuse is also always the side across from the 90 degree angle. So this makes sense. Let's label our hypotenuse. We've named one of our sides and we have two more to name. The opposite side and the adjacent side. Now, these aren't names that we can attach until we know which angle we're using as a reference. If this is the reference angle, then the side opposite to this angle would be the opposite side. And this side, that is adjacent or beside the angle, would be our adjacent side. On the other hand, if we were using this angle as a reference, the 60 degrees, then this side would be opposite, across the triangle, opposite to our reference angle. And this side would now be the adjacent side, beside the angle of reference. To summarize, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it's also always across from the 90 degree angle. It doesn't matter what angle we use as a reference, the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. The opposite and adjacent sides, on the other hand, depend on which angle we're using as the reference angle. The opposite side will always be opposite or across from the reference angle. And the adjacent will be the remaining side, adjacent or beside the reference angle. If we switch our reference angle, the opposite and the adjacent sides get switched, but the hypotenuse will always stay the same.